I've had my poll set up in my home for eight months now. Let's check in on my progress. Peep the spooky Halloween socks and peep the progress on such split grip moves as the split grip, <laughs> whatever this is called. It's starting to feel a lot more comfortable. Holding my body up for this long was a distant dream just a few months ago. And here's how the ballerina is coming along. Both sides can do it now from the ground. I'm still not at the point where I can release the top hand, which I think you're supposed to be able to do, or do these from the air, but I'm just really happy my other side finally came around. Bonus reverse grip, or whatever these things are. <laughs> Thus concludes the showcase of wonky grips that are hard. I don't think I added any time to my flag holds here, and they may look slightly funky, but these are the first flags I've done without checking my positioning in the mirror first. I'm trying to get comfortable enough with them that I can do one without staring at myself for like 30 seconds before liftoff, you know? Quick, my attempt at a single arm move! Here it is! And there it goes! <laughs> I'm still light years away from a shoulder mount, but I can finally lift my weight off the ground in the shoulder mount position. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this- oh, oh, okay. Get yourself together. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, because we have a good time over there, you've seen this little pose before, but here it is again because it's cute. Bye. <laughs> I've been working on getting some height into my moves, so here's me dropping into a genie from a climb. It is very untidy, and I'm pretty sure I ended up the same distance from the ground as I would if I just started from there, but it's all about learning the mechanics of the thing. And then my playlist decided to turn on an absolute bop, so I had to celebrate that. After that extremely cool display, we're back at it. This time I did not succeed at getting the bottom leg around the pole. Inverted move, check. Here are some leg switches. Here's when I realized the socks were making me slip on the pole. Here you can see the absolute terror that comes across my whole being as I found myself inches from the ground in a move that typically gives me plenty of space to slide without breaking my neck. <laughs> Here's the other side. However, my right leg really struggles to create the lock for an outside leg hang, and it's sort of become a mental block, so you'll see that I keep my hands on for this one. I need you to know that every unceremonious exit out of these inversions is actually me attempting to get into a reverse crucifix, which is one of the recommended safe exits from an inversion. I just find them so difficult for some reason, so instead we have sloppy danger slides. <laughs> I'm trying to climb up out of these inversions and grab the pole above my knee, allowing me to get into a jasmine from the air. I am not succeeding. Here is a clip of me managing to do this a few days ago. I'm doing this because I'm trying to get my Superman and having some height would help, but it was just not happening. So here's how the Superman is looking from the ground. Spoiler alert, I'm actually making a whole video about my journey to get this move because it's taking so long. <laughs> Here you'll see me complain again about the base of my pole rotating while I try to grip for this move, which would be solved if I was up higher, like from a climb. But as we know, that was not happening today. <sighs> I'm including this clip because it really freaks me out and I want you to never do this. You can see that I'm finding the ground with my arm and also lowering my body at the same time with that arm fairly straight. I could have snapped my arm just then doing something like that. Please practice better body awareness than I am. <laughs> anyway, I was getting tired of trying to show off my inversion moves. Sometimes they just don't happen.
In fact, I was getting tired in general. These progress videos usually involve me busting out my biggest moves back to back to back, and it can be so disappointing to not nail one in time to show it off to all of you, especially if I've already messed up other ones I was hoping to have ready. But what do we say here? Progress is not linear, and I can only hope that you'll keep up with me as I finally do get these moves and they become consistent. My playlist hit me with another bop to help me out. So let's take it to the floor for a minute. That broke bitch dance break inspired me to try a bit of floor work so I could see if I could come up with anything on the fly since I've been at this for eight months now. If you've been here a while, you know I don't love floor work, so I would say this is a mix of some solid looking moves and some absolute tomfoolery. <laughs> Like here, where I basically snap myself in half. Thanks for joining me for this progress update. Remember, progress isn't linear, I'm proud of you, and always be aware of how unsupportive your bra is when you decide to end your video with a little dancey dance and accidentally turn it into a hydraulic support test. <laughs> Bye!